Hey you guys, so guess what we got? Yeah, we got this. We got the American Wolf in London Nightmare Demons. Um, this has come, let's start this right at the beginning, from AliExpress. Um, I have one of these on order from a UK supplier, but that's apparently going to be near the end of the year. So when I saw this, I, I had to pick it up. I also don't mind having two of these because obviously there is a plethora of them. It's a team. So having two means I can have two different likenesses on my shelf. Yeah. So yeah, let's have a look at the box. So you can see the front has a lentricular cover. That is today's long word, lentricular. Let's say it again, one more time with feeling. Lentricular. It was pretty good. My mum liked it anyway. So kind of 3D with the... Can you hear that? Maybe you can, maybe you can't. So yeah, on this side we have those two demons. And on this side we have those two demons. And on the back we have the full team in lineup. And all the different versions down there. Includes four interchangeable heads, three firearms, two knives, torch and more. Uh, there is a word that I'm not going to say while I'm doing this. I'm glad they call them Nightmare Demons. The other N-word and not the other N-word. The other N-word. Yeah, you, you know what I mean. Because that might get this video demonetized. There we have the authentic TT Toys sticker underneath, which means it's come from a supplier in the East. It is not a knockoff or a KO. These come from... Yeah, they come from China. Because, I don't know if you can see down there, Made in China. Somebody argued with me a while ago that these these were all made in America. Yeah, so they had to be fake because I'd got it from China. And, and Okay, I checked all the boxes. Anyway, let's go with this. So, I did notice when I opened it up, his head's fallen off. Um, but you got to think this has been on a plane for a couple of weeks. So, yeah. We have nice artwork on the inside. The plethora of heads. We kind of got the werewolf head and one down here. Yeah. All right. So I was trying to figure out why that head looked different. Why that one looked weird. It's because it's that one without the helmet. Ah, oh, right. I had not noticed that. We have the machine guns, knives, sharp sticks, general stuff in there. Let's move on from the top, down the bottom. Yeah, we've looked all around the sides. Let's get, let's get to the figure. That's what we're here for. Not for me waffling on. So yes, American Wolf in London, one of my all-time favourite movies. Filmed in sunny old England. Set in Yorkshire. And it is a very rainy day out there. It does look like the Yorkshire in the film. The head is still in the bottom. Of that. Put that there. The back of the box has the fireplace and the burning... You can see that? The burning room in there. Kind of nice. You can kind of see that these are all model sized pieces of... They haven't done it with a full size. It gives you dollhouse stuff. Right, so... Oh, the head fell in the right... Did fall in the right place. Let's just have a look at the head while it's out. So there we go. Oh, it's pretty good. The helmet does come off. I guess you would have to pull the neck joint off of there. I'm not going to try, but yes, the helmet... You can feel he's removable. There we go. Let's have a close-up of the face. That's pretty good. Yes. Right, let's get the... Held in with any tags? No, it isn't that. Oh, yeah, there's, there's one black, black tag around his waist. Let's see if we can... Pretty thin tag as well, so that's nice, because usually... We have to cut through severe pieces of tags. It's just a nice little thing. To right, so let's pop the head back on. I'll do it over here because. There we go. Right, so that is. Let's get a little bit more light around this way. There we go. There's the body. The uniform is pretty nice. Boots at the bottom there. Let's 
This is rubberized, so there is a body underneath there. Yeah, it's not going to be the most articulated of figures, I don't think, but it's going to be articulated when needed. Right, does it stand pretty well? Yeah. Right, let's have a look at those little heads. So we have a werewolf head with the grey bits through her hair. Pretty nice set of dentures on in there. Close on focus can we get there we go. Yeah. It's got his little ears look. <laughs> the neck with a name written on the back there that says I think that's his neck but I can't see. Even though I've got my glasses on. So let's see if I can get it focusing the camera. No. Yeah. Right, that's one head. And we have that head. It's got nasty scars down the side. Yeah. These all have articulated necks. I think that's probably going to be my other head. I think it's going to be between those two. Maybe that one. Mm. Right, and the final head we have is... I like that one as well. As much as you can like a demon head. It's kind of got a dint there. It's like a bullet hole. As somebody that wanted to be a makeup artist as a kid, this was one of the films that made me like really like, oh, that's what I want to do for a living. Make monsters. Yeah. Hmm. So yeah, nice set of heads. Right, also in here we have... We have an Uzi, a Sten Gun, a Mac 10, a Flaming Torch, two knives and two gun hands. Yes. So let's see what he looks like with the other heads. Uh, uh, that one comes off. There we go. Yeah. So let's see, articulation wise, obviously the head has maneuverability in there they all have pretty much the same up and down it is just a ball joint in there which I think is locked doesn't feel like it moves but that will move on the ball joint the arms up around there is no articulation in the mid arm there but there is elbow to about about there so not too bad I said they don't have to be that articulated, do they? Swivel at the waist and a little bit of pivot in there, but nothing in that middle section. Legs wise, out, forward, backwards, you know the usual articulation in there. There is a little bit of a split in his crotch there, but that does happen because he's a it's like the rubber bit, and it always does that. The amount of necker figures that just split at that bit. The knees ah, only go to there, so he's not gonna be a butt kicker. And there is, I think, some articulation in the top of the boot there. There is articulation in the knee joint. So I don't think there is actually articulation in the boot. There may be. Yeah, there is. But it needs warming up before <laughs> you rip his leg off. Yeah. Hmm. So yeah, like I said, the hand, that one is obviously a torch holding hand or knife holding hand. Um, let's see, which other heads? I don't actually remember that one in the film. Weird. But that one doesn't, that one, the other three kind of go, yeah, I, I, but that, no, I'm not sure about. It must be in there because I wouldn't have done it, but. Hmm. So yes, I think, I think my probably first choice will be that one. Yeah. And then you have to pick the... It's kind of weird because they gave them... They didn't give them guns that were used by the nationality, if you know what I mean. Sten gun is kind of one of my favourite. These were also used as the... Um, Stormtrooper guns in Star Wars. 
This has connections to a lot of other films because obviously Sten Guns and things like that, the Muppets are in it. Frank Oz has a part in it who played Yoda and Miss Piggy. Because he must be a friend of... Yeah, Sten Guns pretty cool. Have a Uzi 9mm. And flaming torch, Mac 10. Let's see if it, they haven't put much cellar tape on this time. And you see, there is the gun holding hands. And you have the knives. Very nice and shiny. Very blood soaked and stabby. <laughs> I'm always worried of phrases I'm saying in these videos that's going to like get people. I'm going to get them demonetized because I used the word stabby, which I've done twice now. Yeah. Does that have a... Now you see, I'm looking at that thinking that would be useful for a uh, snake bliskin. Kind of Mac 10, You've got to start there, you know. Yeah. No, he doesn't have that bit on his, but anyway, I'm sure they can remold that. Hmm. So yeah. And a flaming torch, which I think for now we shall put in. Will it go in that hand? Yeah, eventually. There we go. So, yeah. What every household needs an angry killer demon. I'm impressed. It's not, it's kind of one of those figures that, you know, there's not a lot of detail to it, but it's, it's perfectly, perfectly good as, a, as what it is. I like it. Like I say, I've got another one on the way, which will be, I bought from a supplier over here. So, um, I will, when that turns up, do, yeah, that's one with the torch. I will do a comparison video. The wrist joint, I do have a, a swivel on them, maybe I'll call it, and do twist. So yes, let's see if we can put him... It's a bit chilly today and I'm always got to be careful of the... There we go, excellent. Right, yeah. That is going to look odd on my shelf. <laughs> hmm, kind of cool. So like I say, I do have the werewolf on the way. I ordered them from the same place on the same day. Um, and AliExpress have this new system where they, they put things in together. And this didn't go in with the other one. So the werewolf is coming with something else. Which means it's taking longer. It's it's a bad, it's a good idea from AliExpress because it's saving you know the planet because we're only using one set of transportation. But it does mean that if one of the shippers, people shipping them out, ships it a little slower than the others, then you're waiting for one of them. Which I really, really, really want the werewolf. So yeah, we also have on the way the 40th anniversary Alien set, the last set with uh, Ripley in her spacesuit, the alien and the Lambert. And I also have the Call of Frankenstein on the way as well. He's finally, finally managed to pick one of those up. And I've got, I've got some other stuff coming. So I've got a few Necker figures on the way. And I'm sure you guys will enjoy every single one of them. And if you do enjoy them, please don't forget, hit that subscribe button down there, hit the like button down there. You know what to do. Yeah, I know you guys know what to do. Yeah, I think this is pretty good. I'm looking forward to getting the werewolf, the the Kessler wolf or whatever they're calling it. But yeah, this is the perfect nightmare demon. <laughs> so, like I said, if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed, hope you all have a great day. Hope you have a great night. And, well, me and this guy, we'll see you all in your dreams. <laughs> Sleep well. Bye.